Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, we nearly. I have no buns, but I got belly. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Queen V83. And I just want to make this video right quick. I was reading it to a story, and I think we all familiar with this one. It's called The Three Little Pigs. Okay. The Three Little Pigs. And I'm going to break this down to y'all the way I break down these stories. Three Little Pigs. There's three pigs. One decides to build their house out of straw. The second one decides to build it out of sticks. And the other one decides to build it with bricks. Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. I don't know what kind of bricks he used, but he was the smart one. So the first pig, he had his house, like I said, out of straw. So I'm pretty sure the family was like, bruh, this is not going to last long. Why are you building it out of straw? You're being really cheap right now. So he probably like, no, it ain't, no, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay here. You know, this is my house. This is my business. I'm like, okay, your business, okay? Take your own advice. I'm just letting you know it ain't going to last long. So guess what? Life come along, a.k.a. the big bad wolf. Guess what the wolf does? Huffing and puffing, blowing his breath, COVID and everything outside. It didn't say he having a mask. Then again, this story is like really old. But anyway, he huffing and puffing. And the, the pig in there, <laughs> he's scared. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the pig said, not by the hairs of my chinny, chin, chin. <laughs> Somebody finna break into your house. And the first thing you worried about is the, <laughs> the hair on your chin. For real. They ain't say he called 911. They ain't say, like, if he grabbed something, if he had something on him. No, he just said, not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. What your chin got to do with somebody trying to kill you? Forget your chin. Get out the house. So, when the wolf huffed and puffed, he blew the house down. And the first pig, he ran and went to his second brother's house. Second brother, he probably like, oh, I'm going to one up him. I'm going to use sticks. Little did he know he's still stupid. Why sticks? I don't understand that. They they just as flimsy as straw. I ain't a contractor. I don't know. He probably went to sticks and stuff. But anyway, so he and his baby brother, they're in the house. And the wolf talking about little pig, little pig, let me in. First of all, just because you say that don't mean somebody going to open the door and let you in. They don't know you. And they talking about not by the hairs of their chinny, chin, chin. I don't know why they keep talking about their chin hairs. Like, do they have PCOS or something? I don't understand this. Like, shave if, if it's that big of a deal. So, of course, the wolf knocks the house down with his hot breath. Who? You know what I'm saying? So, these two run it over to their big brother house. So far in the story, this is letting me know. Sometimes you can go to help somebody, and then their troubles follow you. From wherever they was at and went right along and now you got the problems too. I'm like, dang, you brought this to my doorstep. So, big brother, okay, he's the one that, the smart one, because he got a brick house. Because he knew, okay, I've been dealing in life long enough. I know something's going to happen. Let me be prepared. Let me make sure I have my house in order. So, he let him in and the wolf right behind him. So the wolf thinking, okay, I knocked down your brother's houses. I'm going to do the same to you. So he huffing and puffing, huffing and puffing. Ain't nothing happening. And they talking about not by the hairs of their chinny, chin, chin. They need some tweezers or something. I don't know. So the oldest pig in the house, he already, like I said, he's ahead of the game. He's thinking outside the box. He's smarter than his dummy brothers. Seriously. So he decides to go ahead and put a pot. In the fireplace, because he know that if I lock these doors and windows, what this wolf going to try to do? Go down the chimney. And that's exactly what the wolf did. He got up on top of somebody's house. You that serious? You that hungry? I'm pretty sure you stopped by a couple of chickens, of chickens, pigeons. I don't know something before you trying to just, just get some, some pork, the other white meat. So he on the roof. And he go down the chimney like he's Santa Claus. And that hot water got him. Bam. He runs out the house screaming. I'd probably be screaming too. My buns were hot like that. I'm saying some hot water. Hot water, man. Yeah. But anyway, 
that's all I want to share with y'all. And I see that many of you may be inquiring about, who is this gentleman in the background? This is Buddy. You know, like I said, he got his stimulus, so he's trying to be all fancy. I don't know what's up with that mustache or whatever. Then again, he probably want to be my producer because I know y'all heard them bars in the beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do's what I can and I can's what I do that don't make sense. What about you? Guess what? Two plus two makes four. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to leave this with you all. Just because you have a watch don't mean you know what time it is. All right, have a good one.